Hey everybody, welcome to uh, another review here. Um, I got a request to uh, test out uh, Sandboxy. So I went and downloaded it. Um, this is a free software. Um, great for protecting your internet browser or if you um, want to run a program and you're not sure um, if it's safe or not. Um, as you saw, the install went by quick. Nothing much to it. You have your sandbox right here. You have a, a tutorial if you want to read it. Uh, pretty simple. It, as you can see, it operates in uh, your task manager down here. And uh, what you do is, when you want to surf the net and you want to do it safely, you just uh, sandbox the web browser. You pop open the icon and you'll see that uh, it opens the default browser to connect to the net here and you can tell you're in sandbox mode because it's got these uh, little marks the pound sign here with the um, on the side of the program the title and that tells you that you're in, in sandbox mode so anything that happens in this mode will not permanently affect your computer so um, just to show you that it does work I'm going to install some a couple of different pieces of malware here that I know are malware and you can see easily that there's something definitely going on in the computer. As you can see it wants to run the file but again it's sandboxed so we'll run it. All sandboxed. And let me get some other stuff here. See if I can get a couple more. Okay, and let's try this bottom one here. So as you can see, there's definitely stuff running in the back. These are the processes that are sandboxed as of right now. This is a rogue. This one will definitely be easy to see. And, uh, oh, can't run under a virtual machine apparently. Definitely want to get a rogue on here that you guys can see. I think this one might be Antivirus 2010. If it is, that one works in a virtual machine just fine. Yes, it is. Okay. So this is, a. Uh, downloading and installing and uh, what I'll do I'll wait here for this to finish and uh, hopefully it'll uh, work and install now you have different while that's doing well you got some different uh, buttons here at the top you can terminate all your programs you can uh, you can view programs files and folders if you want to look at it like a tree um, now you got an immediate recovery. If you want to move these files out of the sandbox, um, and I don't want to remove those, so I'm going to close that. I want to keep everything in sandbox here. Now you have your default sandbox. You can run your different programs here in the sandbox mode. You can terminate all your programs like you had under the file. You can do a quick recovery. You can delete all your contents. You can explore the contents. You want to see what uh, what stuff you have installed here, so you can see all the stuff, all the little nasties that are installed. You can see that we have uh, Antivirus Pro 2010 definitely running. So uh, we got these here, and oh my God, something uh, something happened, and I don't know what to do. Well, it's easy. You hit terminate all programs. As you can see, that's gone. And to, cl to finish cleaning it out, you delete the contents. As you can see, there's 11 megabytes in the sandbox. And you just delete the contents. There you go. Simple as that. 
Now the sandbox is empty. Your computer is perfectly clean. Nothing ever touched the um, the actual computer. It, it all stayed in your sandbox. So um, let's say you want to install a program and you're in sandbox mode. CC C Cleaner. So let's say you want to download that and install it. Well, let's uh, download it. I like to download the slim version. I download the file. Now, um, when you're in sandbox mode, it's best idea is to save it. And um, I would save it. Where is it? I would probably just save it to, um, let's see, it's saved to desktop here. Okay. So let's look at, as you can see, we have a program right there. Save to the desktop. And if you double click it, the installer starts just fine. real quick no problems there now you could do the same thing if you're not sure about a program you could just right click on it and say run sandboxed so run this program sandboxed uh, just in case you're not sure if it's safe or what's going on with it and you can do a trial run and you could see what happens see the program sandboxed right now a normal program and if we go to our explore contents you can see that it installed in the sandbox see it's right there and we can recover the files that are in the sandbox a quick recovery and of course there's other different nuances here on um, the sandbox and sandboxy and all its different little uh, you know different nuances and stuff like that but basically the best use for this program is to run your browser sandboxed and to test programs out and if you know they're safe you can just rerun the installer again on your system um, without any problems so uh, that was a quick review of a uh, sandboxy. Uh, definitely works at keeping your system safe. And uh, as you saw, nothing made it past it. Everything got uh, cleaned up. And that's it. I'll uh, let you guys go.